Like seriously, no one has any nipples. So hi everyone, and we are here for episode 2 of Berserk 2016. This is episode 2, The Holy Iron Chain Knights. And no spoilers, just at this little part of the video as before with last time. I uh, just want to say it feels a lot less messy than last week's episode since we're not bouncing about between chapters. And when I say we were bouncing about between chapters, I actually did some research and checked. So, which chapters did we bounce around last time? Well, we had the bar fight scene from chapter 1, the skeleton stuff in the cart for chapter 2. We had the introduction of the knights, which was the first shot of the... Uh, the episode, which was chapter 95. Chapter 95 also had the bandits that they were chasing, and also had the tree monster. And we also had the kid, uh, Isidore, I think his name is, who is actually introduced in chapter 133. Not in the same way, but still. So, when I said we were jumping about between chapters, I, I really wasn't kidding. And that's why this episode, I think, is a little bit easy to follow, and a less uh, bouncy here and there, because it all focuses within the chapters without huge jumps, which is helpful. Though it does have some flashbacks, which if you've seen the anime, read the manga, or seen the movie, you'll have seen this stuff like at least three or four times now at this point. But I guess that's because they wanted to have this as an introduction thing, so they kind of need some of this information here, but it's, it's not enough to help people who haven't seen the show at all to jump on board, but I don't know, maybe it's there for a refresher. I don't know. Also in like episode one, I complained about the CG being a bit clunky in places. Well, most of it was very clunky. I thought the CG was a little bit better here. The fight scenes, I, I could tell what was going on this time. Uh, there wasn't any of the uh, smudgy B to C kind of transitions. There was actually a really kind of terrible transition. I'll show just some stills here. And, you know, this is pretty much how it went in the show. Uh, and it, it didn't work. It looked pretty bad. It looked like something was missing. Uh, but I think I should, you know, be fair and say that the 2D animation part in... Or some of the 2D animation parts in this uh, weren't very good either. There was just a few scenes where I was like, Ooh, that's... Um, I know those character who those are meant to be, but they don't look exactly like they should. And while we're on the topic of things not looking like how they should, uh, Casca is something that's popped up on the internet recently as not looking like she did originally in the manga in the movies and in the the 97 anime she uh, looked like this and now she's um a lighter skin tone shall we say uh, now it doesn't really annoy me it's just one of those things i look at and i'm slightly confused by i don't i don't know what the the design choice was to do that uh, maybe it was a mistake maybe it was an accident i don't know um but it's one of those things that it's just, ooh, it's just one more niche on the thing that's like, you, it's not quite right. It's not quite right. But enough about the dancing about stuff. I guess we should get into the spoiler talk, so cue that crazy bailet. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Spoiler Bailet. So we pick up from where we left off from the last episode where Guts encounters the uh, the Holy Iron Chain Knights. And he's a lot more injured than he was before, and that's because in the manga he fought this kind of stuff and <laughs> was wrecked. Uh, however, in the last episode he fought some skeletons and a tree demon, and uh, it was a little bit hurt, but not quite as badly. But this means that he can't wield his big sword as easily as he could before, uh, and it makes it a little bit harder for this little fight scene, which was a lot easier to follow, as I mentioned earlier. Uh, and even though it was CG and still not great, I was like, yeah, it's better than episode one's fight scene. And it was nice to see Guts wreck some people and cut them in half. That's, you know, that's a Guts thing. He's just like, people, I like them in two halves, not one. Also, he punches a dude in the face with his metal arm. Um... In the anime, it, it looks a bit like this, and he looks like, yeah, he's probably fine. And in the manga, he didn't look like he got away so well. Guts does get captured in the end. Uh, and something, again, I don't think it was as clear in the anime as it was in the manga. In the manga, you can tell Seprico, again, if that's how you pronounce his name, uh, throws a stick at his leg, uh, at Guts's leg, and it kind of just KOs him at that point because he's already pretty beat up. In the anime, it's a little bit harder to, to see that, it, uh, at least from my opinion. Again, you kind of assume that Smudge is a bee, but you it is still just an assumption. Also, Guts randomly has a, a grey bailet. How does he have that? 
Well, unless you've seen the original anime or read the manga, because uh, it wasn't in the movies, you don't know! Ha <laughs> ha! He got that from Killing a Dark Apostle. I can't remember which one. I think it was the Snake Demon one. Uh, but it, it was from one of those things. He just kind of went, ooh, I love this. Pocket that. And something interesting, I guess, that's going to become a running theme is flashbacks that we all know about and have all seen anyway, uh, arguably in better 2D animation, are going to always be in 2D. We have a flashback to when Guts fought off a hundred men on his own. That's all 2D. We also have the part where Griffith says a man's life isn't worth something like a gold coin or some uh, silver coin or some nonsense like that. Again, that's all 2D animation. I don't know why they chose to do the flashbacks in 2D, apart from... I, I guess it's to have that uh, wobbly kind of fuzzy varnish on the camera effect to make it look a bit more like a dream sequence or different from the present day to, to make it a bit more distinguished visual look, which is odd, but okay, sure, why not? Also, I think this might be my preferred look for how Griffith should be drawn, because um, in, the, in the, the 90s anime, he looked fine, uh, but he didn't have the lips, which is... a a weird key feature he needs to have. I didn't mind him not having it. I was, for the longest time, I preferred it. In the movies, they went way too far. He looks really, really peculiar. They they describe him as being a very beautiful man, and I look at him in the movies, and I go, oh, he just looks weird. He looks so strange. It's like he's had Botox in his face, especially in his lips. They're just creepy. You know, it's like uh, one of those old ladies that kisses you in the, in the cartoons, and you've just got, like, massive kiss mark on your face which are too big it's far too big in this though he looked he looked a lot better he looked again closer to his uh his manga counterpart i would think and his eyes were done quite well once again so as i mentioned at the beginning of the video no one has nipples you may have been asking or wondering andy what are you talking about people have got nipples not in this anime uh, as we see during guts's torture scene uh where it's pretty it pretty light for a torture scene especially in the world of berserk and when you've seen the what the church does as torture uh, further on in the anime, uh, sorry, in the manga, well, th this is light. This is very light. It's just a bit of whipping and a little bit of cuts and bleeding. Uh, but Guts got no nipples, no nipples at all. I'm not against nipples. I'm not pro nipples either, but it's it's something that you notice. And then later on, when Guts escapes the camp, thanks to Puck, Puck being useful, he seals away Farness. Uh, once again, I'm pretty sure that's how... <laughs> I'm, I think that's how I said it last time. I think that's how they said it in the anime. Uh, so we're just running with it, okay? He steals her away while she's uh, giving herself a good whipping, you know, repenting and whatnot, and covering her, because she's doing it without her on to get that bleeding on. Uh, and she's thrown over the back of a horse and they're riding off. And once again, I was like, she's got no nipples either. This world is devoid of nipples. I imagine they're doing that just to get away with it not being as lewd, lewd as it could have been. Uh, maybe that's a good thing. I, I don't know. It's a, it's, a, it's a weird design choice when you're like, there should be nipples on that thing. We also get to see little bits of character development with these new characters, Farness and Seprico. There's not much to Azan apart from he's an old knight who's pretty badass. Uh, Seprico seems to like Farness and want to keep her safe, thanks to knowing that he saved her life and whatnot. And he calls her cute, or charming, I should say, one of the two. And we know that Farness from this episode is a little bit, um... She's got something not quite right in her brain. There's, uh, she's not happy with something. She's not being happy being called an empty vessel. Again, I, I know, because <laughs> I've read far enough in the manga, that I, I kind of know that uh, what's going on there. But I'm not going to say that, because I assume we're probably going to get there. This seems like it might be the conviction arc. But anyway, no nipples, a bit of character development, a bit of action. Uh, it's got a good mix of stuff. It was one of those episodes I watched and I went, I, it's a shame there's not more. I'm like, ah, keep going, keep going. Where's the next episode? I'm like, oh, the, the next episode's next week. It's like, ah, oh, poops. So I would definitely say that this is a better episode than last week's. It's got a few problems here and there. The animation still, it's be I think it is. I think it is genuinely a little bit better. Uh, but there's not as, for the action scenes anyway, there's not much actual walk cycles to worry about watching, which are the worst things about the animation so far. There's a bit of clunky 2D, and then you've got the annoying thing of the 2D being only for past sequences. Uh, but the story is progressing, we've got new characters that have been introduced, finally, after however many years of them not being in an animated form. Uh, definitely think it's better. It's, it, again, go for it. As if you're a fan of Berserk, keep on watching. I think it's fun enough. Um, 
I look forward to when we start getting into the juicier stuff, as it were. But we are still quite early into the, the show. So, anyway, I hope you guys have found this entertaining once again. And I will catch you next week for, well, the next part, episode 3, when it comes out. See you then, peeps. Kukunk.